Uh, welcome to CompuBuilds, and now we're going to show you how to remove a laptop hard drive and put it into a desktop computer. Alright. Well, this is just a regular laptop. Really, really old. It had Vista. Okay, but it's not there anymore. Anyway, you're going to want to turn it upside down, and you're going to want to find the spot where it should have a little HDD symbol on it, or just a hard drive symbol. You're going to need a screwdriver. Check what it is. This one happens to be Phillips, so Phillips screwdriver. And we'll just unscrew it. Okay. You remove that, and then you'll see the hard drive. And there will be screws here, 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 and here. And you would remove those. These ones are already removed for some reason. Whatever, just slide it out, and take it out. There you go. And that is the laptop hard drive. And now we will get the desktop and show you how to put it in. All right. Uh, right here we have a desktop, a really, really old desktop. It has a mustache on it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right. But and then what we're gonna need to do is take out the side, and there will be. Two screws, usually thumb screws. If they're not thumb screws, just use a screwdriver. We'll just take them off and put them aside. For later. Usually, you want to put on to its side, on the bottom or whatever you want to call it, and just take off. All right. Now, there usually is a hard drive here. But there is no hard drive in this one because it's a pretty old computer. It still works though. And you, here, just come up here. There will be SATA stuff here, SATA connectors. So what you'll need is a SATA cable with double ends, like that. Just two ends. Alright, and what you're going to need to do is get your laptop hard drive, which is over here. Laptop on. This one. Is a different one that we told that took out of the laptop, but same thing. We'll just plug it in. Plug it in right there, the small. Just match it up. Plug it in. And what you're gonna need to do is you can just set it. Since it's not a full size hard drive, we're gonna have to just set it down in the computer somewhere. Make sure it's flat because there is a disc in it. Take this end and plug it in to the SATA. There you go. It's sturdy. And now what you need to do is hook up power. So from your power supply here, there should be cables coming down, uh, like like one of these. It should look like a SATA cable too. See that? You got that camera guy. All right. And then what you need to do is just plug it into the power slot. Really simple. There you go. You have that. And now what we're going to do is just Set it down there, like this. We should probably put the side back on, but here we'll show you that it actually works. We'll put it over here and hook it up. All right, we now have the computer plugged in. Uh, the hard drive is just sitting down there, and we'll turn it on. And the computer will start up, hopefully. Show the monitor. Turn it on. There we go. We'll start up. I think this one has Ubuntu. Yes, see? We can tell it works now. It has Linux on it. There we go. There we go. And now you can see that it actually works. You can put your own operating system on it, whatever you want. Uh, you can put Windows or whatever's on it. You can just keep it. Or if you already have an operating system installed on another hard drive, you can just use that hard drive as storage. And that's all.